but just a great, great cast of characters, great people in this for the city. But uh, let me just tell you about our uh, this award. We um, we started this award in 1990, and it's been given a recognition of distinguished service by a volunteer to carry out the mission and the purpose and the ideals of the Park City's Y. Um, this award was is presented annually, and it honors uh, really Charles E. C., who was just a great, great man. He was the first recipient, and he was honored for his community involvement, his generation of, or generosity of time and resource, and his consistent dedication to the Park City's Y. Uh, this year's recipient <coughs> has volunteered with the Park City's Y for over 20 years, uh, serving as a coach. A lot of us in this room have done that. Uh, also, uh, this is something I have not done, which I think is a big, big job. He was uh, he was nation's chief for the Y guys. So, Robbie, that's a big job. That's something you can do. Uh, he's also was a member of the Boys Sports Committee, uh, annual partners campaign volunteer for several years, and was the chair in 2003. Um, he's also served as a board of management member for over 10 years and was chairman in 2010 and 2011. Uh, this gentleman was also the uh, Sam G. Winstead Award winner in 2011, and most recently he was our Project Management Committee member and chair for 2013 and 14. That committee was uh, had oversight for the uh, for the new Y, everything that, had, that was going into creating a new Y for us. It's a big, big job. Uh, this year's recipient is a father of three children, uh, Amanda, Carolina, and James, uh, has been a uh, loving husband to June for several years and he's a highly respected 40-year attorney and um, those aren't oxymorons you can say highly respected attorney you can say that all the time and in this case it's very very true um, you know what's most impressive to me about our recipient is that he's had his own practice for 30 years and for those of you that work for yourself that's an accomplishment to put food on the table for 30 years the way this man has um, he is a uh, licensed attorney in the state of Texas and Louisiana. I guess he loves the Tigers. He's an LSU law school alum and an Auburn undergrad alum. Uh, when he's not volunteering for the Park City's Y, uh, he's being, or being a lawyer, or being a husband or a father, he's also served as uh, chair of the trustees for the Lovers Lane United Methodist Church, as president for the Park City's Rotary Club, and president of the North Dallas Chamber Soccer Association. And it goes on and on. This year, this year's recipient is a man of principle, one who I've gotten to work with, spent a lot of time with, uh, one that um, is incredibly organized. And uh, the word that I, I think just best describes him is tenacious. Would you say that? Yes, sir. I would say that. I've used that. Um, and and there's other words that have been used about Jim, but I won't I won't bore you with those. But Jim is is a, is just a a heck of a guy. Uh, this year's recipient is quite the communicator. You know, he's second only to a minister asking for the Lord's blessing. I mean, this guy can can pull you in and you really listen to all his words. Uh, he's a wordsmith extraordinaire. And I don't know as many people know, but he's a respected. Park City's articulator of Southern colloquialisms. And in problem solving, which we've done the last, much in the past five years, uh, Jim has been known to, uh, to say some of the following. Uh, there's, there's more than one way to skin a cat. Uh, or when he's questioned somebody's intelligence, and I won't say where this was, but he's said this before, uh, you know, he's not the sharpest tool in the shed. Or uh, his elevator don't go all the way to the top of, or top to the top. Or lastly, when he was through, or when he thought we, we uh, needed some new blood on the board, he described himself and fellow board members as being long in the tooth. So before we let this gentleman get too long in the tooth, please join me in congratulating this year's Charles E. C. Award winner, Mr. James W. Mills III. Come up, Jim. I am extremely honored, and I, and I certainly want to thank not only the uh, Park City's YMCA, particularly the Board of Ma Management, John Palms, also Roger on behalf of our wife. I also want to make a point to thank my wife while I sit back there, because during the process of building this, uh, working to building this Y, there was many a time she told me I needed to tap my brakes, that I was 
pushing too hard and um, I, I'm totally indebted to or for that. Uh, that probably helped keep me in better stead with some of these men over here that, that I've been working with so hard. For those of you who are not familiar with Charles C. and his legacy, it's phenomenal. And just to be in the zip code, if you would, with this man in terms of the indirect of this award is it's just breathtaking to me. He was not only extremely generous to this Y, but his devotion to the city of Dallas, University of Texas, I mean, it's legendary. And uh, I continue to be impressed by people that are willing to share with what they've got and believe in such service. And from the time I started working with this Park City's Y, I kept hearing his name over and over again, and that's breathtaking. So hopefully from someone in this group, there'll be another Charles C. that one day that will come forward and, and pick that up. Um, I love the why. I, I just can't tell you how much it's meant to me. Uh, like so many of these guys over here, I started off, Gordy, in all due respect, it was the Indian guy, the Indian princess then, uh, but it was an amazing thing. I had two daughters that in the beginning they were 18 months apart, and I can totally remember going on a camp out where I had one over here in one cabin and one in another cabin, and I was concerned at their ages, how was that going to work? I couldn't spend the night with both of them. And, and trying to keep that in perspective. I dreamed of a, of a Y um, that basically would run all day long and it would start in the early morning with a school and, and how sweet it's become now that we've got the RISE school that just is tremendous and what it's going to bring to the community and particularly for the parents of, of many of those children. As the day would progress then you'd see our seniors there because keep in mind the Park Cities is full of seniors. There, there is no place for those folks to go. You know, we're, we're stepping in, and, and Robbie and all that to, to the city, we're providing something that a lot of cities provide. We're giving these people a place to go. You've got, as the day progresses, you've got the stay-at-home moms that come to the classes. You've got the professional people that will come there in the, in the late afternoon. And then for once, we'll have a gym, which is just huge. We'll actually have a place we can play games and things like that. So I just, I can't tell you how excited I'm going to be about it. Uh, there's going to be some rough water when the construction comes, we know that, but for those of you who lived through the closing of Lovers and Mockingbird, I can't even remember how that was now. It seems like it just got done and, and we're finished with it. So I think it's just, the future is just outstanding for what we're going to have for our wife. Uh, I will tell you this though, and, and I really believe this in my heart, like a, a, a church that has a really good minister, I think you can have a big church but unless you have an engaged laity, I don't think it'll ever be a great church. And I think the same thing is here with the Y. We have an awesome staff that Roger has helped put together here. But what we need to match that up with is an engaged membership of our, of our Y itself. And particularly, I think this is where our young people and our new volunteers, you're going to have to step forward and join with the staff in making our Y or continuing to make it the flagship of the community. That's the way it'll get there. And I think we can't just say, well, we got a new wine, it's done, and we can all rely. I don't think so. I think when you open the doors, that's where it's really going to get traction. And you'll be able to do the things that we just physically didn't have the space or the manpower to do before. So anyway, I'm, I'm thankful to you for having let me be a part of the process. I'm so excited about the future. It's great to think that you had a hand in building something that'll be a 50-year project that'll It'll be here long after we're all gone. And um, I'm very honored for the, the people of the Y that consider me for this award, and I give you my thanks for it. Done.